All right, we're in the attic now. <clears throat> and then we got uh, the hose in, making our way. We have two sides to this cathedral. This side over here and over there. Pretty wide open, so it's nice. Well, there was a topic that I wanted to discuss, which is radiant heat and whether this type of attic is the most um, beneficial uh, or the, the, the one that makes most sense versus having a unvented attic. And so for those that don't know what an unvented attic is, uh, you basically don't have any airspace that's between your insulation and your uh, the underside of your roof there, the uh, plywood pieces. So what would happen in a unvented attic is you would probably have instead of a truss system you would probably have some sort of a-frame um, system on your roof so that you would have say even two by tens instead of two by fours here and then you would put your um, 24 inch on center sheet of insulation in between these cavities on the uh, rafters so and in this way you don't need any venting so any styrofoam venting it goes right under that i mean obviously the best way to do that sort of system is with closed cell spray foam as uh, i've seen especially when you're looking at cathedral ceilings uh, for most cathedral ceilings like that one that you saw over there um, is batted with uh, sheets and has a considerable amount of air above the sheet so it's definitely still vented like a vented cathedral but there's parts that I'm going to show you further down the cathedral that I believe um, are uh, pretty much uh, squished in so there's no there's not much of an air gap between the sheets of insulation and the plywood and so that would be considered your unvented attic area or unvented roof versus vented roof right so the one thing with the uh, a lot of people are, are saying oh well you know a unvented uh, versus vented the unvented you don't have this waste of attic space that you could use for storage so if you say ran your insulation up on the roof deck like this then you'd actually be able to come in to your your attic space and use use it for storage and uh, so your attic space in a way becomes your living space um, I've seen uh, some videos uh, I think it's uh, Matt Risinger. So on his channel, he mentions that there is by code and also with regards to Canada, the same thing, that you need some sort of uh, fire resistant material that's on the living space side uh, if uh, you're gonna do that uh, sort of unvented system. And typically they put drywall or they uh, spray the closed cell spray foam with uh, some sort of fire uh, protection spray. Uh, so that's uh, you know two options that you could do. And then after that, a lot of homes, even in the US or even up in Canada, they sometimes have their furnace that's up in the attic. And so all their heat ducts um, are also running in the attic. So that's usually pretty difficult to insulate properly. And if you think about it, like I've uh, said in the, uh, I believe it was the uh, air filter or furnace air filter video. So you can check that out on my channel as well. So with that video, what I mentioned was that your ducts uh, in the winter are trying to pump heat into the house, but obviously in the attic space, it's cold. So it's kind of fighting that um, efficiency. And then it's the reverse during the summer. The summer is trying to pump cold air into the house. And of course the attic is absolutely ridiculously hot, especially if it's, you've got some black shingles involved or black asphalt shingles, which absorb a good, a good over 90% of your uh, radiant heat, right? Versus a black body, which is obviously 100%. Um, so, that's why a lot of people, they go for the unvented attic. So then the actual insulation uh, is blocking that radiant heat uh, from coming in 
and disrupting your um, HVAC system, right, from being as efficient as it uh, as it could be. So right there, you see the the plywood that I'm talking about here. There's a couple of gaps that I'm actually going to be covering at the base of this uh, cathedral with loose fill insulation, because obviously I'm, I always look for for those spots. I'm talking about right here. All right, this is the spots I'm I'm, I'm saying, and of course. I always raise these areas to an R60 and typically they're going to raise up and, and cover these areas nicely anyway. So it's uh, no material lost, but I also look for gaps right here, like right along the trusses, right? So I fill that right nice, just like that. And right in here, you know, all those little gaps that uh, would make your, your system really not efficient. So you see how there's very little room between the plywood and the sheets of insulation. There is a little bit because by code, if you're using sheets of fiberglass, you do need some airspace. Um, just because again, fiberglass is uh, not, uh, well, in, this is just my opinion. Um, I don't know if it's uh, within the code there, but fiberglass does not stop uh, moisture from going through. Uh, it only slows it down. So that's why you always need that vented space. Whereas with Closed cell foam, then there is no moisture that's passing through, and it's uh, super efficient. So then there is no um, there's no risk for <coughs> air or vapor to to really condensate uh, just because it's passing through the insulation, and then it's uh, say in the winter, right? It's really hot, and then it's hitting a cold spot, and boom, it's condensing pretty much instantaneously just because it's say minus 20 degrees Celsius outside and inside it's uh, plus 20 degrees Celsius. So a nice 40 degrees Celsius Delta, <laughs> that's definitely gonna condensate. <laughs> so the, the dew point is definitely there. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's basically where, uh, what I'm talking about when I'm talking about vented versus uh, unvented and there's, like I said, those storage pros. Um, sorry, there's, uh, there's that big pro where you can use your attic for storage now. Uh, the one thing too with, uh, I, think, I think it was Spray Jones, he discussed the requirement for, uh, and obviously because now the whole attic space now is part of the living space and part of your uh, HVAC system. And so you do have uh, need some sort of air circulation just like you would inside your home now for your attic space just because or else if there's no air movement then you're just asking for trouble 